If you have ever programmed a Node MCU, then I bet you know the pain you have to go through while connecting sensors to Node MCU on a breadboard. I looked for various solutions on the web and found Node MCU development boards for around six to seven dollars. Well, I wasn't ready to spend that much for a simple project. So I went ahead and designed a replica of those boards, which 10 of them I got fabricated from PCB way for just five dollars. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. Let me first show you the design of the board. I have placed the Node MCU in the middle of the board. On the right hand side are the extensions of the digital pins and on the left hand side are the extensions of the left hand side pins. Starting from left to right, I have the V in and the negative pin to power up the Node MCU at the bottom left hand side of the board. Node MCU has an inbuilt LDO voltage regulator which keeps the voltage level to 3.3 volts so there is no need of an additional voltage regulator. Just above that is a series of ground pins. On top of that is a series of 5 volt and ground pins followed by a series of 3.3 volts and ground pins. I have also added a series of 3.3 volt and ground pins on the top right hand side of the board. Then there is a reset button and a set of TX and RX pins for serial communication. On the same breakout board, I have also added an Arduino Nano's development board. Since I had a fair bit of real estate left on my board, I created a generic PCB out of the left out space. The ordering process from PCBWay is very easy. Once I had my design ready, I just had to upload the Gerber file to the PCBWay's website and then select the type, color and any other customization that I wanted and then just send it for fabrication. For my project, I chose the black color. PCBWay ships from China to most of the countries of the world within 3 to 7 business days. Talking about the quality, it's absolutely mind blowing. Let's start by sorting the male and the female pin headers to the board. It really doesn't matter what order you solder the components to the board. The only thing to remember is that do not solder components that block another one. As you can see, I'm soldering both male and female pin headers side by side on the board so that sensors with either male or female pin header can be hooked up to the board making it more generic and expandable. So this is how the final setup looks like. Please comment and let me know if there is any scope of improvement. Thanks again for watching this video, I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks, see you again in my next video, bye now.